Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug. This is Season 1, Week 6, Game 2, Zipper by Bennett Foddy, who you might know from games like Quop and Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. This is a turn-based tactical samurai game, and my best way of describing it is what if Bushido Blade was turn-based. So, let us zip over here to the start of the game and make our way through and murderize some of these henchmen. I'm spotted, I have to fight. So I'm gonna explain some things here, and if you don't want spoilers, then I guess don't get spoiled. But the most important thing you need to know in this game, first and foremost, is that obviously you can move here and zip across the whole screen. And any of these little squares that have a symbol on them past the henchmen, they're gonna get sliced and diced. But importantly, you move one spot, they move one spot. You move two, they move two. So when you move, they move just like that. Keep that one in mind at all times. Also, if you want a preview where they might end up, say, if I moved one, two, three, four, five spots, then you use the crank and it will show you the outline of where your opponents, your enemies, will wind up. Are they in the right spots to kill you? I don't think they are. So I'm going to move here, and look at that. One, and then two, and you're both done. Now, obviously, I could have done it a bit more cleaner than that. Your health in the upper right-hand corner is essentially your high score. So any move you make that does not result in somebody dying takes your life down one. So by the end, it's all right, how high can you keep your life at the end of your game without, you know, having things go wrong? So there, it stayed at 35. Now, a trap, a different approach. My approach is to get in the middle here and then just run straight down. Now, if an enemy is next to an enemy, the blood splatter will blind them for one turn, but also, I'm going to leave. Bye bye Now then, pole swords. You can't take them head on. So there are a variety of enemies in here that will definitely trouble you in certain ways. So let's see if we can't get this one to where we need it to be. Like that. Head on with my sword. But now it's all right. What's the least amount of turns to get out of this stage? Because I've got to lose life here and that whole bit of business. So this is also one hit, one kill on both sides. And when you die, it's back to the start. So keep that in mind. This right here would be a bad move. Because if I crank it, you can see they're going to murder me. I'm blinking there. It's not, it's not good. Now B has it undone and resets. So ideally, you want to get them all in a good line here and take them down the best you can, because if you don't do it right, if you don't plan it out right, things go south, and guess what? It is back to the beginning. So in the early game here, it is I'm looking for a key, and that key will get me into the castle. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I've definitely encountered ninjas and guys that have two swords and just all kinds of just bad, bad business. So let's go one, and then over and then dead. Just like that. So it's all about testing it out and finding out where you gotta be. I got them both on the same line, and that was, you know, a bit wasteful, but still, twice in one. Two for one. Let's head in this direction. Because I don't have that key yet, and I know going the other way, eventually you're gonna end up in a spot where you gotta have the key, and I have not found what room that key is in just yet. So we'll go here. Is that going to kill me? No. No, it won't. So planning is the most important part in any kind of turn-based tactical business. Now, once they are dead, they will stay dead. And wow, buddy, you're like right there. You're right there. One, two, three. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. If I go all the way here, he just follows... Oh, wait, no. That's, look, one, two, three, four, and then back. 
and then done and then dead. Look at that, buddy. Look at that, buddy. But again, we're wasting life here on these extra moves to get out of these stages. Uh-oh. More pole swords. And where am I? Where? Okay, I'm here. He's there. If I go over to here... Yep, alright. So it makes a noise when you're gonna die. So that's important to know. But if you go here... I can't, like, see right now, so... Okay, so if I go one, two, three here... Oh, yeah, perfect. Because then... Boom! Right in your... Right in your neck. And you know what they say, protect your neck. So let's head this way. There are occasional NPCs that offer you clues in terms of what you should be doing. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. This is a bad room. So what if I just back out and leave? Just I wanna go the other way. Never mind. Not a problem. Goodbye. I said good day. So heading this way, there is an NPC right there. So we're going to talk to him shortly here. If I can get right... No, that's not going to... Here? Try that. And then, yes, right? Like that. Hey, buddy, what do you got? Some men guarding a chest northwest of this place. So no map to speak of. Just figure it out on your own. And again, you get hit, you die. So it is all about learning the patterns, understanding the strategies, and not having a bad time. How do I do this? It seems like any move I make here is going to be me dying. So I don't think that blood will splatter him from that distance, unfortunately. Which... I think I know. I think I know. What if I go... here? Well... Yeah. Okay. That was bound to have bitten me in the ass at some point. And then it goes back to the beginning. So I think you get the general idea here of Zipper by Bennett Foddy. I think it is quite neat. And I'm quite enjoying what I've played thus far. Even though I've died a bunch of times, I think the overall strategy here is quite, quite nice. So, I'm going to keep playing a lot more of this, for sure. Like, is that, yeah. You see how it just really gets it going on you. How's that? Aha! See? Look at that. Look at that. And then, ouchcha. And then, oh, just one guy in here? One guy is, like, the best. Because they're just dumb. And you can murder them really easily. But I haven't found this chest with the key just yet. And I'm looking for that. It's gotta be somewhere, man. Right? Right? Okay, so this one here. Yeah, you guys are just toasted. Toasted. Oh, assassins. Here we go. So, the ninja. If you're in the line of the ninja, he will throw stars at you and end your life. So. Yeah. I thought I could get that in that, but no. Didn't work. Didn't work. Anyhow, this is Zipper by Bennett Foddy on the Playdate Season 1, Week 6. We're halfway. I'll see you next time. Keep on cranking. I'm a tax slug. More videos on this channel. And I'm out.